What's up guys, it's Chris here from the Filmers Alliance and today I'm going to be teaching you what I have found to be the best render settings for Sony Vegas Pro um, in 720p. First thing you've got to do is add your clip to the timeline, I've already done that. And then you're going to come up to here, Project Video Properties. And then right along here, you're going to click on Match Media Settings and you're going to select any of your clips, pref preferably the clip that you're editing. And then once you've selected that, it's going to give you all of these that are matching your cameras, whatever it's recorded in. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change this to 720p instead of 1080p. And I'm going to change this, I'm going to keep it at 32-bit floating point video levels. What that does is it enhances the colours. I'm going to put full resolution render quality to best. I'm going to put the motion blur type to Gaussian and deinterlace method to interpolate fields. You could change this to whatever you want. If you don't have interlaced footage, then you won't need to change this at all. But just uh, if you do, just play play around with blend fields and interpolate. Interpolate looks the best for me. Um, and I'm just going to click start all project, start all new projects with these settings, and click apply. Once you've done this, uh, you're just going to highlight your clip, and you're going to click up here to render as. Once you're at render as, I've already made a template for this, but um, if you don't have a template, then just I'm going five megabits per second HD 720 25p video. Click on customize template, then go to video, change the frame rate to whatever the frame rate is. Mine's 25 frames per second. Change the seconds per keyframe to one, and change the video smoothness all the way up to 100. Once you have done this. You just want to click OK, and then click, and then select where you want to render your clip in, what folder, what file, whatever. I'm just going to cl call this Render, and then once you've done that, just click Render, and then you're done.